Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the Bass Shaker video. Welcome back everyone and in this video I'm going to show you how the whole Bass Shaker setup works. My configuration and everything. I am not using any Sim Shaker software, I'm simply using Voice Meter Potato and FS Realistic and I will also be using just a bottle of water to show how well the vibration works. Alright, here I have Voice Meter Potato set up and I'm not going to all the details of this, I'm mainly going to focus on FS Realistic and you can see the sound is being outputted from FS Realistic and over to channel 2 on my output. If I click on the EQ and we look at how I have my my frequency set up, you can see that the the low level frequencies are what is being outputted to my bass shaker. And I did it that way so that I don't get all that extra sound, all that extra noise, you know, from the aircraft. I mainly want the rumble sound, and that's what really makes the chair and the desk and the foot pedals vibrate. I would like to also point out that I do have Microsoft Flight Simulator being routed to channel 2 as you can see here. So I am also getting that sound but again I'm mainly extracting the lower frequencies. If I use additional software like you know the sim shakers and those it will it actually pinpoint exactly what I want to output but I don't have that software right now but this actually works very well for what I'm trying to do. It's a it's a a low budget setup but it works absolutely fantastic. Let's now take a look at how those sounds affect the the bass shaker and how the vibration comes to the chair. The best way I could uh, demonstrate that is by using a bottle with some water. So I'll have my my daughter go ahead and start the engine. As you can see I'm using my switch panel to get everything going. Works like a champion by the way. And at the moment, I don't have a lot of vibration on the top of the desk. But when I switched over to the arm of the chair, you can see the vibrations coming through the water. And that's not from me shaking the chair. That's just from the engine rumbling. And because I have two bass shakers in the chair, the vibration goes from the seat all the way to the back and in the arms of the chair. So it feels really good. It, you feel that like you're almost sitting in a car or you know, sitting in the airplane. And as we take off, you see there's more vibration and more vibrations in the chair. Again, I have two bass shakers in the chair, so the vibration is stronger there. If anyone recognizes this airport, it's Lukla Airport in Mount Everest. Great for flying. Great scenery. Awesome place. I've never been there in real life, by the way. But now I'll switch the bottle back to the top of my yoke and you can see that I do have some vibration there. Now if I turn the volume up some more on my amplifier, I will get more vibration from the, the bass shakers. But overall, it's an excellent experience. It really enhances the immersion of the sim. It's low budget. You know, anyone can, can do this. You do not have to go buy a really expensive software unless you want to. But for me, this works. It really helps, you know, just increase the flying experience, increase the emerging. So if you like what you see, guys, please give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe, and I will see you in the next build video.